Hello techies. In our previous session, we learned about web scrapping. Let's have a recap about web scrapping for a minute. Web scrapping uses intelligent automation methods to obtain large amounts of data or extracting data from the websites. Web scrapping has multiple applications across various industries. One, pricing monitoring, market research, news monitoring, sentiment analysis, email marketing. These are the applications where we are using web scrapping to extract the data. Now, in this session, we'll have a NSC project demo by using Power Automate Desktop. NSC stands for National Stock Exchange, a fully automated screen-based trading system. NSA offers a facility to its trading members by which members can use their own trading front-end software in order to trade on the NSA trading system. If you see on my screen, we are in the NSA website, that is nseindia.com, where we can see the market data to watch the equity or the stock. There you can find n number of categories. You can select the categories and then based on that, we will get the equity for the particular company. Let us zoom. Right now we are in the Nifty 50. I'm going to change the category to Nifty Next 50. Once you have selected the category Nifty Next 50, you got the symbols or the companies. What are the opening price? What is the highest price? What are the lowest price? for the particular date that is you can say on 7th October 2022 on date which we are showing the demo right there you can say I'm having CHNG percentage of CHNG volume value in lakhs and 52 weeks high 52 weeks low and today these are all the data which we are going to extract from the NSC India to analyze the market every day and then we are going to start our trading on the NSC India website right now how can I go ahead and extract the data for my market analysis by using power automate desktop now to analyze this market first point is that I need to get the data each and every day from the website that is nseindia.com that is my first point so every day I need to extract the data from this particular site to analyze particular symbol having open or high or low price on the particular dates. The second one, if I need to schedule this every day and I need to extract the data every day from the particular website. So for that, I will show you a small demo over here. I have already created a Power Automate desktop flow to extract the data from the National Stock Exchange. By using that, every day I will extract the data and I will store the data in my local, that is C drive documents and there I'm going to create a folder and then I'm going to extract the data for each and every category in the NSC. And then I will store the data in the Excel format. There you can see every day that I'm going to extract the data based on my requirement. Now, to schedule this desktop flow, I'm going to use Power Automate where I'm going to create a cloud flows on the basis of my schedule. There you can see I have created a new cloud flow based on the scheduling. Let me edit it. Power Automate desktop doesn't have the feature to schedule on the particular interval basis. That is the reason where we are going to schedule this Power Automate desktop by using Power Automate cloud flows there you can see I am having the recurrence over here on the interval basis of one and the frequency is, is every day I'm going to run this desktop flow on daily basis interval time of only one time per day there if you see I'm having a run a flow built with a power automate desktop where I'm going to select the desktop flow that is national stock exchange project demo and I'm going to run the mode in attended when whenever we are going to signing into the Power Automate or Power Automate Desktop. All right. This is all about the scheduled cloud flow from the Power Automate. Now let me go through the Power Automate Desktop. That is National Stock Exchange Project Demo. There you can see I need to save the data on daily basis. 
so i'm going to get the current date and i'm going to create a folder in my local drive by using create folder and then by using web automation or browser automation i'm going to extract the data from the uh, nseindia.com and then i'm going to save it into the data table and then i'm going to store in the excel by using excel automation now if you see i'm having run javascript function on the web page where i'm going to get the data like drop down values by using run javascript function on the web page and then i'm going through the loops by using current item by using for each action and once it has been done after saving the data on my excel i'm going to close the browser as well as i'm going to close the excel this is all about the national stock exchange project demo all right now we will see the demo in real now let me go back to the power automate desktop before running let me show you once again if you see the video has created on october 7th 2022 right right now i don't have any folders over here now once i'm going to run the schedule flow that is nsa from the power automate cloud flows it will create a new folder as well as it will extract the data in, into the folder by using desktop flows that is national stock exchange project demo all right to test it let's uh, click on the test on the power automate cloud flows and then i'm going to give the test flow as manually and then i'm going to click on save and test to run the power automate cloud flow which is the scheduled cloud flow flow execution started there you can see based on the interval it is going to be starting and then it will call the desktop flow that is national stock exchange project demo which is the desktop flow now if you observe even the power automate desktop started running it you can see over here you can see the parsing time that is 344 it is trying to call the power automate desktop desktop flow that is national stock exchange project that is from the cloud flows which is scheduled as a first step it is trying to create a new folder in the given path that is documents path so on which for and what is the name it will be the current date name with the folder october 7 2022 there you can see just right now it has created a new folder and then based on that it will launch the website that is nseindia.com so that it is opening the website and it will try to extract the data from the national stock categories and once it has been extracted it will stores the data inside the excel in the local drive that is c drive documents and the new folder has been created with october 7 2022 and inside that it will create n number of excels with the uh, uh, with the category name and then it will stores the data inside the excel for the analysis it will take some time to extract the data as well as to save the data into the excel if you observe over here for each and every category it is trying to change the category and then for that category it is trying to extract the data for the different symbols or the companies for the equity or stock and then once it has been extracted what it will do it will get the data into the excel and it will save the data into the excel over here this is almost all you are having n number of categories over here for each and every category it will save an excel in the particular date of the folder that is you can see over here a new folder has been created and also at the same time an excel will be created over here to analyze the data all right now if you see the flow has executed successfully and after that if you see over here i got all the excels over here with the current date over here that is 7 10 2022 20, with the modified date and there you can see the name of each and every category that you will find it out over here in the excel all these excels are having the data which are having from the nseindia.com 
based on the category and inside that you are having the symbols all right